For a girl with no hands, her dexterity is remarkable. Her drawing skills on a par with other kids her age. Charlotte lost both hands and both legs to meningococcal septicemia, but hers is not the sad story you might expect. I think some people are surprised when they see her, like um, how mobile she is and how she can write and draw and, you know, her f sort of um, the finer mode skills she's still got even without her hands. Yeah, even though, like I said, she's so independent yeah, my, and so able, she does she does need help with things. I do not. You don't need help. Definitely not. This one is my old leg. Charlotte shows me the false limbs she's had so far. Prosthetic legs, basic yet do the job, but for hands, it's not so simple. Do it go on this arm or this that arm? One. That arm. And then this goes round the back. This crude hook will be little use as she grows up and has to fend for herself. Like Though anything more sophisticated costs the earth. An adult bionic hand was 40,000 for one hand. And at the rate children grow, she'd need a new, bigger one every year. But this could be the answer. And at a target price of £1,200, it's within range of normal families. If I flex my muscles, the hand in response will open and close all of the fingers. First, a 3D scan is made using a tablet computer. Then a 3D printer constructs it bit by bit. For the first time, these techniques are being combined to custom build a robotic hand. At the moment, children are a bit underserved by the prosthetics industry uh, in, in the realms of robotic hands. So this project can really help them because as a child grows, they need to have a new prosthetic every year or so, ideally. And that's where the cost component really, really helps out. It's still at the prototype stage, but this new advance means that for Charlotte, a working hand is not far off in the future. The wait now, not decades or years, but maybe only months. Nick Ravenscroft, Sky News.